हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर लर्न साइंस एंड केमिस्ट्री पॉडकास्ट बाय केमिस्ट्री नोट्स इन फो डॉट कॉम डियर फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज पॉडकास्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व एंड इट्स केमिस्ट्री हेल्थ इम्पैक्ट सोर्सेस डेफिशियंसी एंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व एंड मैनी अदर इम्पोर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट रिलेटेड टू विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रेंड्स विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व इज ऑल्सो नोन एज कोबालामिन विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व इज अ वाटर सोलूबल विटामिन दैट प्लेज अ क्रूसियर रोल इन वेरियस बॉडिली फंक्शन इट इज असेंशियल फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ रेड ब्लड सेल्स सो डेफिशियंसी ऑफ विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व can lead to a type of anemia called persinious anemia in which number of red blood cells get decreased in count as compared to normal count vitamin b12 is also important for maintaining the health of nerve cells as it is involved in the synthesis of myelin myelin is a fatty substance that insulates and protects nerve fibers vitamin b12 is also necessary for the synthesis of dna which is crucial for cell division and overall growth and development b12 vitamin helps your body metabolism for extracting energy from food you consume vitamin b12 also helps enzymes those are involved in breaking down of fats and carbohydrates hence vitamin b12 have big impact on your health so friends now we discuss about some chemistry of vitamin b12 so friends vitamin b12 is unique among the b vitamins because it is generally not found in plant based foods it is primarily obtained from animal sources including meat fish dairy products and eggs generally it is observed that vegetarians and vegans are at risk of vitamin b12 deficiency if they do not consume fortified foods or take vitamin b12 supplements the recommended daily intake of vitamin b12 for adults is typically around 2.4 micrograms however this is not fixed and can vary based on age gender and specific dietary needs vitamin b12 deficiency can lead to various health problems including fatigue anemia headache neurological issues and if felt untreated if left untreated more severe complications can happen supplements are often used to treat or prevent the vitamin b12 deficiency especially in the individuals which are at high risk if you suspect a deficiency or have dietary restrictions they may limit you vitamin b12 intake it's very important to consult with a certified healthcare professionals for guidance vitamin b12 is also known as cyanocobalamin while methylcobalamin is generally used to treat the deficiency of vitamin b12 in human body through medicines or dietary supplements dear friends you can visit our website www.chemistrynotesinfo.com to get the structure of cyanocobalamin and methylcobalamin however <coughs> i can explain you its molecular formula so molecular formula of cyanocobalamin is c63 h88 co n14 o14 p and its average mass is 1355.365 dalton and its monoisotopic mass is 1354. 567383 dalton dear friend molecular formula of methylcobalamin is c63h91 co n13 
0.14 p and its average mass is 1344.382 dalton and its monoisotopic mass is 1343.587769 dalton dear friends now question is how to treat the deficiency of vitamin b12 so friends there are many ways by which you can treat the deficiency of vitamin b12 however first of all you have to answer the question that you feel any symptoms of vitamin b12 deficiency like weakness tiredness headache shortness of breath pale skin constipation diarrhea loss of appetite nerve problem muscle pain problems in walking vision loss etc if you feel these symptoms then consult a doctor you can also visit a certified lab to test the levels of vitamin b12 in your blood if test results so level of vitamin b12 is very low then it is very necessary to consult a doctor but if it is in the lower range then you can consume foods which contain vitamin b12 fortified foods vitamin b12 supplements etc doctors can suggest you some medicines containing vitamin b12 and its equivalent to treat deficiency these medicines may include vitamin b12 tablets b12 pills injection of methylcobalamin vitamin b12 capsules vitamin b12 supplements etc personally when i suffer from vitamin b12 deficiency that time i consume mycobalamin tablets <coughs> these tablets help me to recover from vitamin b12 deficiency however you do not consume these tablets without consulting your certified doctor dear friends now question is the use of methylcobalamin generally found in tablets so friends methylcobalamin is used in the treatment of vitamin b12 deficiency methylcobalamin is also known as mycobalamin the active pharmaceutical ingredient api of methyl cobalamin is used in pharmaceutical companies to manufacture tablets capsules injections for the treatment of vitamin b12 deficiency now question is is vitamin b12 present in eggs yes eggs contain very less amount of vitamin b12 if you consume two eggs weighing about 100 g then you will get approx 1.1 microgram of vitamin b12 so we can say that you cannot treat vitamin b12 deficiency by consuming eggs intake of eggs with other foods help you to maintain vitamin b12 in your body now question is what are the other foods so these are the foods which contain vitamin b12 so another question is vitamin b12 is present in milk yes vitamin b12 is present in milk dairy products like milk contains very less amount of vitamin b12 if you consume about 2 gram 200 gram milk then you will get about 1 microgram of vitamin b12 so other foods include fortified cereals so <coughs> these there are so many fortified cereals available in the market which contains good amount of vitamin b12 bran and whole wheat oats are the good fortified cereals to fulfill your daily needs of vitamin b12 <coughs> so now question is foods what's what foods you should eat if you have vitamin b12 deficiency so friends vitamin b12 is very important for body vital functions and we need about 2.4 microgram vitamin b12 every day there are many foods which helps us to get this much amount of vitamin b12 when we eat them in combination with other foods they provide us good amount of vitamin b12 these foods are meat fish dairy products eggs etc some approximate amount of vitamin b12 you will get from the foods are as follows 
cooked clams provide approximately 80 microgram of vitamin B12. Cooked fish provide approximately 20 microgram of vitamin B12. Cooked beef liver provides approximately 70 microgram of vitamin B12. One cup of milk provide approximately one microgram of vitamin B12. 200 gram yogurt provide approximately one microgram of vitamin B12. 100 gram cheese provide approximately three microgram of vitamin B12. Two eggs. provide approximately 1 microgram vitamin b12 fortified soya milk provides approximately 1 microgram of vitamin b12 one time eating of fortified cereals provide approximately 2 microgram of vitamin b12 so friend stay healthy stay happy dear friends you can also visit our website to learn more about vitamin b12 and other important <coughs> scientific topics and health topics so link of this discussion topic vitamin b12 is given in the description of this podcast dear friends you can also help us to grow and bring more scientific contents by donating us link to donation to us is also available on our website whose link is given in the description of this podcast thank you to listening this podcast This podcast is brought to you by www.chemistrynotesinfo.com